on this show, Scott talks about the top five people he would like to perform with. And then I realized I had six. Yeah, well, there are probably a lot more people that you'd like to perform with, too. So cutting it down to just that's pretty good. Uh, and then you also find out that even though you want to perform with them, you found out that I apparently know more about these people than you do. Oh, uh, well, yeah, kind of, sort of. And then, of course, on January 20th, you get to see, are you ready for this? Yeah. A Super Wolf Blood Moon. That's right. A Super Wolf Blood Moon. That's crazy. I cannot believe that there are so many things you could possibly do in a super super wood blood blood, blood, blood. stay tuned for the show and find out what the heck i'm talking about because then we'll find out about what is the x factor welcome to floating heads across america no welcome what happened in the world today scott has uh decided to play around and have a floating head today i am not the lady of the lake no the lady of the lake pay no attention to the man behind the curtain you could be Oz. yes I am Oz. Well, this is a tale of how Scott's bad life decisions led to a YouTube show. Yes, they did. We're going to decide whether this is one or not. Um, But we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. And what we've noticed is Scott wants to be the great and powerful Oz. (laughs) Uh, Because in the uh, musical, Wicked, it is a floating head. Was it actually in The Wizard of Oz? So, okay, so here's some weird stuff. I don't even know how we got on this. But do you know that The Wizard of Oz is going to be 80 years old? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, they just, um, uh, they're doing like Turner Classic is going to have a, uh, a phantom, you know, where you can go to the movie theater and watch it on those special screenings, uh, a reviewing of it. This is, um, I don't know if it's true or not, but they said this was the most watched movie. But I can't see it being all time. 80 years old because um, I'm not 80 years old, and I'm pretty sure I was in my single digits when it came out. Um, well, let's see. Uh, let's see what it says. Wizard of Oz. Uh, okay. Uh, 1939. Really? As the movie or as the story? I have no idea. This is Fanny Adventure. One hour and... Uh, so the, the release date, release date, August 25th, 1939. Remember it was black and white. Well, it started in black and white. That's no, true. It was black. Holy schmoly. That is impressive. I saw that on, on a commercial and okay. Phantom is having it for the uh, end of the month. And there's a lot of stories and stuff like that about, uh, the people that were in the show, um, about the guy who was originally going to be the uh, tin man. It was going to be buddy Hackett or no, not buddy Hackett. Um, oh crud. What was his name? Buddy, uh, Buddy, Buddy Epson? Buddy. The Could have been Buddy Epson. That would have made sense. Beverly Hillbillies, right? Yes. That was Buddy yeah. Epson. Yeah, Buddy Epson. He was originally going to be, uh, the, the, uh, the Tin Man, but didn't he get sick or did somebody else got sick? No, see, now I'm confusing everything. <laughs> yeah, I do remember something again. Like we lost our last munchkin, like, Five or six years ago. Trying to. Uh, who got sick as the Tin Man? Yeah, Ebsen. The original yeah. choice for the Tin Man, but fell ill due to aluminum dust and his makeup was forced, forced him to drop off, drop out. Was wow. Buddy Ebsen the original wizard, the original Wizard of Oz Tin Man? Yeah. What's Tin really man. funny is in a lot of Westerns, he was a bad guy. Yep, but he was really awesome in the um, – Beverly Hillbillies. He was a great dancer. Did you know that, that he was a yes, great dancer? He was a – well, yeah, he was considered one of the top dancers. Yeah, which is top. weird. And that's why he got the, uh, the job. Yep. But, which uh, is really kind of funny because in the Beverly Hillbillies, I can't remember him doing very much dancing. <laughs> me either. Yeah. But anyway. So you'll uh, notice I'm, I am not shaven. Yes. And I'm drinking. Um, You're a little scruffy today. Yeah, that's because I'm, <clears throat> I'm a little sick. I have a 101.5 degree temperature. Yeah, so well. Start with a feed of fever. You are just attempting to reheat the weather there by using your own body to do it. Yeah, well, it was awful. It was super cold over the weekend golfing. I wore a long sleeve shirt under, underneath, then a polo shirt, then a sweatshirt then a windbreaker jacket, then another sweatshirt over the top of that, 
then a balaclava, which took us a while to figure out what a balaclava was. And I kept going, um, I couldn't remember what it was. And I go, well, maybe it's a baklava. No, baklava is yeah, that's, that's, that's food. And then um, I forgot How do you what even bring the club? You know, you remind me of, of the old days where, where, where they show the cartoon or the, the TV commercial where the kid's getting all dressed up to go outside and, and he can't move. <laughs> right. and, then, and then after he gets all dressed up, he goes, I have to pee. Exactly. No, I have to go to the bathroom is what he says. Okay. But that was a Christmas story. Was it? Oh, yep. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I do know some things. Yeah. But yeah. It, yeah it's I know not other black, things. But it's not black lava. Bella Clava. I, I forgot that. what else we came up with. We came up with some other um, things. But one of the things that you said that you want to do this year is uh, join the bandwagon of everyone else and win all these awards that are behind me here for that our That would be show. so cool. Wouldn't it if we could win a bunch of awards for what we do? So, so when we win all these, I, I just can't get past your floating head, though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Are you actually wearing a green shirt to match? I am actually or? wearing a green shirt on purpose. Uh, that, that is funny. Well, you can do it with other colors. That's what I was wondering. Yes. Just, bounce your, just bounce your head across the water. Now, don't float it. Bounce it. Say so that it's in the ripples. Yeah. There you go. That just okay. looks weird. That just looks weird. <laughs> All right. So you wanted to do a list of, of current celebrities. Yes. So these are not dead celebrities. Correct. These are people who are still alive and still theoretically working. Oh, we're working. Well, 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 I shouldn't say showbiz. These are celebs. They don't necessarily have to be showbiz. They could be, they could be musicians, whatever. I just happen to show so showbiz because that's really my thing. Right. I would love to do at least one scene with these particular actors. Oh, that, okay. So that's your goal? Yes. Okay. Uh, as an FYI, you no longer say actors and actresses. They're all actors. Oh, it's official. You can actually call everybody an actor now? Yes. Everybody's an actor? Yes. I find that interesting, but that's okay. A star? Are they a star? Yes. But my absolute first, I, I shouldn't say I, these are in any specific order, but this first one is definitely my first, is Dick Van Dyke. We just talked about him a couple shows ago. Yeah. He, and Mary Poppins again. And right, well, Mary Poppins is coming, coming, yep. coming back out or is back out. It's released. To me, he's one of the funniest, classiest, and just plain all around good guys in showbiz. And damn, what I love to learn from him. Because everybody, everything I've read is when he does a scene with an actor or uh, he makes them better, better without making them feel stupid about it. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a true. Uh, Lover of the art. Yes. I don't know. So, yeah. and, and um, I, I mean, I figured this way. He's 93 years old, and he could outdance me. <laughs> it's like, holy cow, this is one guy I'd really like to see. Yeah. But he's 91 now. Yes. I, no, he's 93. Oh, really? Yes. No. Yes. All right, I'm going to have to go to Wiki. There we go. 93 years old. 93, West Plains, Missouri. Missouri? I didn't know he was a Missouri guy. He's a show me guy. Think he's cheering for Kansas City? Uh, who knows? I would assume you're talking about football. Yeah. Uh, Remember, I'm not big on the sports thing. Right. <laughs> so I get all really happy when, when our local sports teams do well, um, just because it's, you know, it makes everybody else in the area happy. And if they're happy, I'm happy. And of course, in your case, when you're talking about the golden golden knights, golden, golden knights, knights, golden knights, yeah, you, your face just goes. Bing! Well, I like hockey. That's yeah, what you always have. I, I I remember one of the first things you wanted me to do was go to a Blackhawks game with you. And that's I'm not like, my wife. I, I'm like, well, I work nights, so that's not going to work very well. But hey, whatever. But anyway, my sec um, and I shouldn't say second next person. Well, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That kind of ties into a person that, that I would like to to uh, uh, to interview or, or meet or talk to. Okay. Unfortunately, she has passed away. It was Mary Tyler Moore? Oh yes, yeah. He was like, "Hi, Rob." <clears throat> oh man, you can tell my voice is shot from being sick. 
but yeah, she was awesome. I, I mean, but yeah, I guess that, you know, it kind of, she has since passed away. He's still alive. So that's cool. Yes. Yes. That would be uh, really, well, of course, you know, if, if you can get, uh, um, whoopee to reprise her role as a psychic, maybe you can interview her in ghost form. Sure. But anyway, another one of the persons I would love to do a scene with and why is Dwayne Johnson. Now, here's a guy who has the okay. discipline. Hey, he's got a TV show on right now. You know that, right? Yes. Okay. Here's um, a guy who has the discipline to maintain a hard body, but still knows how to have fun. He, he, he's not all about... Um, and I really... I, I don't want this to sound negative, but... The, but most people who push their bodies to that kind of extreme focus even in their spare time on that kind of stuff. Whereas he's not afraid to have fun and do fun things. Some of his movie things are just hilarious. Yep. So he would be a, a, an interesting person to do a scene with. Well, he's still, you know, I mean, he still does a lot of movies and a lot of TV shows. And you yes. just have to get in shape so you can go on to, uh, his TV show, which is currently called, what is it called? What is his TV show called? Uh, you know, this is really bad because he's going to look at, if he ever watches our show, he's going to say, what the hell? You guys don't even know what my show is and you want to work with well, me? I, I, I record it. It's called the Titan Games. So, the Titan. Oh, hey, Titan from Megamind. That's right. The Titan Games. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's from Hayward, California. See, for me, it would be how – tight can I get my clothes from eating too much? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, All right. Doing, but okay. And another slub that I would love to do a scene with is Jack Black. Um, I missed some of his early stuff because, uh, well, you know, I work an awful lot and I missed a lot of movies. And then I saw him in School of Rock. And I'm like, Wow, this guy's not an idiot. He's really talented. I mean, well, yes. Have you ever listened to Tenacious D? No. Oh, okay. See, okay. You, we definitely have to interview these people because I know more about the people that you want to know about than you do. Well, that's, Tenacious D is his band. Oh, yeah. I didn't know he was in a band, and it was a real band. Yeah, and they, they, they tour here in Vegas a lot. Okay, so you've probably already seen him. to go see him. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> But uh, after seeing that movie and seeing uh, some of the other subsequent movies, I went back and watched his older stuff. And um, I, I noticed that when, when he does, his, does a, a character, he does a great job of living that character. It's, it's phenomenal. You can believe him as that character. And they're usually fun. Yeah. Now, this is probably one of my all-time... Wait, 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 wait. We're not done. So today, I was actually watching a movie uh, called Enemy of the State. Oh, yes. Good Enemy movie. of the State with Will Smith and yeah. Gene Hackman. Yes. And Jack Black was in that. Yes, he was. He was. He was uh, one of the tech guys in the truck. Well, right. yeah. Yeah. So, so and I here he's playing kind of a bad guy. So there you go. So, so. And, he, and he made that look right. He made it look like he was a tech dude. But did, did you realize that your, your, your age of the people that you want to interview is, uh, is up there? 93 for Dick Van Dyke. Right. 46 for Dwayne Johnson. Right. Vin Diesel is 51. Okay. Jack Black is 49. These are 40s and higher, dude. What's wrong with that? You don't like any young people? I didn't say that. Trust no. me. I have lists for other things. Like, oh. I didn't have a list for... So these are people I, you want to perform with. If, if I can do a science fiction scene with, that's going to be a whole different story. And some of those are really young. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm one who's sick and you're the one who's dying. I think I'm drowning. <laughs> help! Mm. Help! <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm drowning. If you, if you had a green, if you had a green like towel or something, you could hold it up over your face. Oh, yeah. you. <laughs> Make it like I'm going under. Yeah, yeah. That, that would actually be even funnier. So, but anywho's, 
Um, I even have a couple ladies that I'd love to work with. Uh, Drew Barrymore. Now, here's a woman who can be funny, romantic, goofy, and scary, and make you believe that the character she's playing is real. Okay. And she was actually married to um, Tom Green, who uh, works here in Vegas as a comedian, but Tom, from the Tom Green show for a very short period of time. Oh, not Mr. Green Jeans, though. Okay. No, yeah, Tom Green. Do. Tom Green, the comedian from, from MTV. Tom Green. Okay. And she, she actually has a company that she does with, is it Jimmy Fallon's wife? I think she's got, something, she got something to do with Jimmy Fallon's wife. They do something together. I don't know what it is. But she's, you know, she's been around forever, and she got into the business because of her parents. Yes. Lionel Barrymore. John, John Barrymore. Yeah, Lionel. Well, John, John Barrymore. Yeah. So, but uh, another thing that I, I get a kick out of her is um, she, when she's playing a comedy, she's capable of being the straight person in the comedy without any problem. Like when she does uh, 50 First Dates, that was a funny ass movie and she did it so well. Yep. And she's also been a superhero. Well, she was a super villain. She was Poison Ivy in Batman. Yes. Yes. I was going to say. And wasn't, wasn't she also in like a couple of scary movie movies, which are scary spoofs? I don't remember any of those. Yeah. I think she was in one of them, at least, if not. I have two. to go to IMDb to see that. There we go. Um, you know, normally I don't watch. Well, I, you know, so I don't watch. So what would you, so what would you like to, to, what type of movie would you like to be? A comedy drama. Some, something similar to. Or maybe uh, you're drowning in a river. <laughs> 50 first dates or something. Or, or actually like one of those Hallmark movies for the holidays. Um, I, I want to do, uh, I want to write the world's best Hallmark movie. I know. We talked about that. Yeah. And then just keep, uh, why is, why is this not working? Here we go. I don't know. You uh, always Kiss, kiss you Wedding Singer, like Daily it. Show, Santa Clarita. That was a weird one where she's a vamp. No, she's not a vampire. She's a uh, cannibal. She a zombie? Oh, um, she eats people. Yeah. That was a weird show. I, I'm looking through. You don't the, see a scary movie one for her? I could swear she was in a scary movie one. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Lucky you. I mean, it could be, but it's not going to pop out here. Oh, Donnie Darko? Was that scary? Uh, not that I know of, but this would have been probably 15 years ago. So uh, look, look back at the turn of the century. I'm looking through turn of the century. Wayne's World. She's in Wayne's World, too. Really? I didn't know that one. Waxworks. That's a scary movie. Yes. Waxworks, too. She was in that. So apparently there's some scary movies. There's a lot of movies. Yes, she's done a lot of stuff. So at least I don't think she's ever done any of the Saw films, which is, that, that would really scare the hell out of me if she did one of those. Saw? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I only watched one of those, and I had trouble watching the whole movie. All right. So Drew Barrymore. And uh, my final one for this particular list is Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Yes. So now, here's, here's a little known fact to Cameron Diaz. Do you know that she is credited with killing Anna Nicole Smith's career? No, that I did not know. Okay. So her first big break, uh, the movie that she was in first was actually offered to Anna Nicole Smith first. Okay. And at the last minute, they saw her as a model and replaced Anna Nicole, Anna Nicole Smith with her. Okay. And the movie was a little movie called The Mask. Yes. She was fantastic in that movie. And that was her first movie. And she actually, yeah. So she's actually credited with um, killing Anna Nicole Smith's uh, career. Cool. They say that because Nicole Smith would have had that since she would have had a career. Okay. Well, she could probably kick my ass. So how I do I to... know all this stuff about these people and you don't? And they're the people that you wanted on your list. Because cause you're in Vegas and that's all they talk about there. I have other things uh, I talk about. Like what? Snow? <laughs> yeah. Water? We did get some of that. Water? But the cool thing is after she kicked my ass, I'm pretty sure she'd say she was sorry afterwards because she gives me the impression of actually being a, a good, nice person. 
She's strong, funny, very much the lady, yet, in my opinion, she's quite sexy. She's a Virgo. I don't know what that means. So am I. That's probably why I like her. Okay. No. And no, it, it's – these are my, my five for – Well, that was six, but okay. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> it's six. <laughs> I thought I was only going to do five. How did I end up with six? Oh, well, because – Because you can't count. I can't count. Well, you know what's really cool? You're is I, I can count because I just counted all the trophies behind you, and I know exactly how many there are. Oh, okay. Great. Yes. So, so what's our genuine? So, so these are all people that if we get on the show, this is like our list. This is like this is like our cheating list. Like, if you can go do a show with them, I have to allow you to. Of course. Okay, cool. So, what's our genuine positivity message? You cannot look up at the night sky on the planet Earth and not wonder why it's what it's like to be up there amongst the stars. And I always look up at the moon and see if it's the single most romantic place in the cosmos. By Tom Hanks. He looks up at the moon and says, what? I look up at the moon he and as see as a single most romantic moon. place in the cosmos. The moon. The moon. It is romantic. Think about it. All the Har Hallmark movies, every time they do a shot of the moon, it's a full moon. Every single time. And it's not for Halloween. It's because right. full moons are romantic. Well, we, we've talked about the moons before when they come up. You know, we've had the... Uh, We've had the, the full moon, the, yes. the harvest moon, yes, the blood moon. That's coming up. And now there is a wolf blood moon. A what is that? A wolf blood moon even. So that's on the 21st. Yes. Uh, on January 20th, January 20th and early morning at 21st. Yes. What is a super wolf blood now, moon? This, this is, oops, I clicked on the this wrong spot oops. as usual. Here's this is one thing that I found, first of all, a wolf moon is the first full moon in January, plain and simple. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's nothing special. Like I got, I got, well, like a blue moon is the second full moon of the month, right? Correct. Okay. A super moon is when there's a full moon at the same time that the moon is closest to the earth in its, as it's you know, orbiting. Okay. Okay. A blood moon is part of a lunar eclipse. That's when the earth's shadow comes between the sun and the moon. And it changes the moon's color to a reddish tint. Okay. Okay. Now, a super blood wolf moon, <laughs> it's the first full moon in January. Okay. A full moon, again, occurring when the distance is the shortest possible between the Earth and the moon. Right. And it's a lunar eclipse all happening at the same time. Well, that's cool. It only happens, I think it's 82 times... 82 times in 100 years. Well, that's a lot. It, don't forget, there's 16 80. full moons, or 16, no. 16, 82 times. There's 13 full moons a year. Yeah, well, that means it happens almost every year. It's not like it's Haley's Comet or anything like that. Oh, uh, okay. Every 16 years or whatever. So it happens more often than not. So that's pretty cool. All right, so 20th to the 21st, Go out there and see your uh, super blood wolf moon. <laughs> yes. The peak viewing point will be at 12, 16 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So adjust for whatever zone you're in. You know, Eastern Standard Time is New York. And then um, so um, 11 p.m. would be uh, 10, 41 p.m. your time in the uh, Midwest. Right. And then the mountain time would be... But would it be? No, we're, only, we're only one hour difference from New York. Yeah, so 11 would be 1041. So, so it'd be, it'd be 1116 for me, and it would be 916 for you. Where do you see 916? So the total eclipse will begin at 1141. For your time? P oh, yeah, that's, I see it. No, it starts at 1141, but the peak is at 1216. Oh, okay, so midnight. So you right. want to get there at midnight if you're on the East Coast. And, right. then, and then 11 o'clock your time, and then... Uh, 10 o'clock Mountain Time. No, yeah. 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9 o'clock your time. Well, mine, mine is Pacific Time. Right, I'm right. getting to that, but you wouldn't let you're me get there. There's four time zones in the in the uh, continental United States. In the, in the contiguous. That, you yes. Know, it, it, it just sounds like a, a bunch of X-Factor stuff to me. <laughs> yes, it does. 
And that's going to be our phrase origin story, of course. Well, everybody knows what the X Factor is. Well. The TV show Simon Cowell was on. That's one of them. Uh, okay. The meaning uh, is. The, 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 the X-Men? Oh. They have the X Factor. They have the uh, they, superpower. They certainly do. That is another. They have the X Factor. Isn't that, what, isn't that what they have? That's what they're called X-Men because they have an X Factor? That is correct. See? You do <laughs> know things. Even, even, <laughs> even with a fever and delirious, I do. So anyway, the meaning is an outstanding, extraordinary ability or uh, in any particular variable situation that could have the most significant impact on the outcome is an X factor event. Um, there's a whole bunch of other similar meetings, but the origin I found was kind of interesting. Okay. This is their whole line of the origin. X factor first discovered in around 1930, probably in America. <laughs> it's okay. like, okay. But for the usage, it's, uh, it's an idi idiomatic expression that can be used with or without the hyphen. How cool is that? Either X hyphen factor or just X factor. So you don't know what X factor origin is? No, yes. no. So, somebody obviously came up with it and probably in show business, in my opinion. Well, it's, it's – so where it really came from is from the um, – uh, algebra, right? So you have uh, you're trying to solve for x. So what is the what is the x, right? You're solving for x. So the letter x doesn't carry any connotation, or and you're trying to solve for what is that? What is that unknown, right? X is the unknown. Traditionally, you would you would solve for x, so that's the unknown. That's where the origin comes from. Cool. I like that better than the one that they gave me in the actual site. Oh, that's mine's actually the the true. Uh, you're welcome. Wait, wait, wait. Steve, you're my hero. Just float around here for a little while. All right, well, with that, I want to say thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Go to whathappened.world. Go follow Scott floating hey, around. Wait, does that work? Are, are my hands there? Yeah, you have hands. Yeah, you have hands. You can use a long sleeve shirt, apparently. Yes. Um, so go to whatever.world, um, not dot org, not dot com, dot world, and uh, look us up. Subscribe to all our stuff. Subscribe to our uh, podcast. Subscribe to our YouTube show. Subscribe to our Instagram. Subscribe to our Facebook. And with that, I want you to live every day, and we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life, and have a good one. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.